Hey, it's Project Young, and today is our first Photoshop tutorial. And today I'll be teaching you how to make 3D text that looks a little something like this. Uh, yeah, most people don't really know how to make that kind of text with Photoshop. Some people do, some people don't. I think you need extended to do this. I'm pretty sure you do. I, I make most of my stuff for videos, so I make my width um, 1600 and my height 900, which is the standard American version. Well, for YouTube and stuff. I don't know about other stuff. So, let's put that back. And you're going to make a new layer right away. And type up your text. Type Project Young. Okay, now that I got that, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Make a 72. No, it's way too big. 36. That'll probably work. There we go. Uh, I've noticed it looks really good if you add a gradient to this. So, let's go add a gradient. Uh, gradient overlay. And you'll get something a little bit like this. And I'm going to add red to it. No, I've noticed red doesn't really look good. Just go for a gray usually. It usually ends up looking pretty good. So, we got that. I'm going to add a bevel just because it looks pretty good with it. I'm just adding, it's all your idea for that or what you want. And then you're going to go to 3D up here and click Roboze. I don't know how to pronounce it, but click that. It's going to rasterize the text. Press yes. And it might take a couple seconds to start this up. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, starting up. Here we go. And you see, you already got your 3D text. That might be all you want. If that's all you want, then you've already figured out how to make 3D text. So, once you get this, you're going to... I like to bring down my depth just a little bit. Uh... Just like that, where it's like it's still 3D, but it's not super thick or anything. So press OK, and you're gonna go up here where it says Essentials Design and Painting. Oh, uh, 3D will make it Photoshop run a little slow. So you're gonna click 3D, and this is just something to notice that makes it look a little bit better. Uh, click one of these rotators, and right here. Oh, not the right rotator. Sorry about that. I think this is the right one. Sorry about this. You're gonna one of these are gonna rotate. There we go. See, and you get you can like rotate it. And um, I'm satisfied with that. You can go pretty crazy with this though. Like you could go over here and add a stroke. Uh, let's add a greenish. Yeah. I don't know what to call that color. And let's make the size a little big. And I don't really like that color. Let's go blue. And we got the blue, and to say that's all you want, then just, uh, well, if you want to do it for videos and stuff, click your background layer, and all this is just simple stuff, delete it, and you'll get the checkered, transparent, and go to, you just save it like any file, save as, and we're going to save it as a PNG file, so I'll submit 3D text for YouTube, save that. Okay, and from there you can type uh, 3D text for YouTube. And, you know, and all my, I accidentally made it automatically open this in Paint, but you know, it's uh, I have to change the default. Oh well, but here we go. We got our text, and actually, if you want to, well, you can click off the video now if you don't really want to know this or anything. You can open it up in Sony Vegas. Uh, let's play around with the rotating for a second. And uh, still loading. It's because I'm shooting a video. It just probably won't go this slow, anyways. And click it. And let's type 3D text for YouTube. Bring that up. And well, actually, it seems to be on the top layer. And let's bring up a random clip. So, real player. Uh, let's put in this clip. This is just my sample clip, pretty much. Like what I, I always use for sampling stuff. See, and you notice it'll be on there. That might all be all you want, but you can like put it down. Say, like you're probably not even watching this far. Uh, down here, it's cause now you got your own signature on your videos. You could make smaller ones so that um, 
you can like it's just watermarks and stuff you can use it for all kinds of stuff uh, I don't really use the 3d text that much but if you do you'll probably like this tutorial I uh, hope you found this helpful and it is skating it is almost in my old channel it is project young signing out